Eins, zwei, drei. Schauen wir mal. Tip, 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 tip. Tip, 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 tip. Tip, tip. Passt. Für mich. Und wir sind wieder online. Hihi. Bei Disco Elysium. Einer neuen Folge. Das habe ich jetzt schon lange nicht mehr gespielt. Schauen wir mal. Machen wir einfach weiter. Hm. Als Erklärung für die Leute, die sich das noch anschauen werden. Ich... Ah ja, da. Gut, uh, schauen wir mal in den Shop. Waren wir da schon drinnen heute? Ich weiß es gar nicht. Hm. Also ich weiß, wir haben das letzte Mal mit dem fetten Nazi... Ich, nein, wir waren hier noch nicht drinnen. Finde ich gut. Okay. Das ist nicht da. Melancholy Pop Song Plays on the Radio. Okay, wir haben viele, viele schöne grüne Taschen. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. Hm? Oh, that's the tear machine. It's a machine for tear. You know, <laughs> you find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine, then it gives you money. <laughs> okay, eine Pfandmaschine. Das heißt, offensichtlich Pfand heißt offensichtlich. Okay, I see. And how do I pick up tear for the tear machine? We need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so. Okay. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there, somewhere. <lacht> okay, gut. Um, wir können auf diese Art und Weise, glaube ich, Geld machen. Nicht viel, aber doch. Na gut, sprechen wir gleich mal mit ihr. Was ist das hier für ein... Oh, Welcome to Fritz. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. Okay. What's that magazine she's reading? Mm. You mean this? This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Uh -huh. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. Stupid famous people. I approve of this. Very futuristic. Forget about all the, that. What this is. Fashion. What? This is fashion police feature. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. Okay. Who's the number uno guy in there right now? And does he look like this? We're schon sehr von uns selbst eingenommen. Point to her hat. I bet your hat would take the price. So, who is the most stylish there? Can't be anyone from here. Um, no. I don't like it. I hate it. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. <laughs> Let's proceed. I have some questions for you. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Does Frit have a warehouse in the back of the wording in Rex? A warehouse? 
I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frick does. She looks up from under her brow. Fine. Frick doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay. Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Ich glaube nicht, dass sie irgendetwas weiß, aber oh, gut. Not really. Um, no. I didn't know him at all. I don't know really long. Um, I don't know. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Uh huh. But out this rea reality we're in. Reality? You mean what reality? Economic reality or. She is like a student unexpectedly called upon by a teacher. Can she answer the classroom question? Yes, tell me about the economic reality. Oh, I meant the physical reality. Hmm. Was wollen wir von dir hören? Economic or the physical reality? Nah. I don't know. What about it? We're in Frick? As mankind or... As a nation, or what will her essay prompt be? As mankind, as a nation, we're in Revachol, like on the Insulindian Isola. You're welcome. I don't know. Look at the clock, it's right behind you on the wall. The clock shows the time at 10.09. The hands seem to be still. It's apparent the clock doesn't work. <laughs> what is the revolution? When ordinary people take over the government and um, demand democracy. Yeah, it happened like 50 years ago or so. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. At history, I mean. Our government? Or do you mean something else? Sorry, I really <laughs> need to finish this article. Cool. We got experience for for asking her about um for asking her about where we are. <laughs> okay. Good. Was was können wir uns hier anschauen? Alright. Was war die Taste nochmal, um alles zu sehen? Oh, da ist es. Schauen wir uns zuerst die Blumen an. Yellow roses, dozens of them too. Okay. Dann schauen wir mal, was da drinnen ist. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritte slogan on the back. What's that? What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for Royal. Okay. Mm -hmm. For Royal, for Endurance plus one. Ähm, um, ja. Unser Equipment anschauen, während wir da drinnen sind? Offensichtlich nicht. Mhm. Ah, uh, ja. Schauen wir uns mal an, was haben wir denn? 
Ist es ähm, Code? Heißt das? Wir haben das Shutter Jacket an, nehme ich mal an. Plus 1, glaube ich, ist eh nicht so schlecht. Hm. Ich kann ja anziehen. Das schaut furchtbar ähnlich aus. Finde ich gut. Ähm, so, was haben wir hier noch? Das kennen wir schon. Was ist das? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. Okay. They all bear the sound that their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Okay. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Okay. Das gibt 1 Health, das gibt plus 3 Health. So viel Health können wir gar nicht verlieren, bevor wir tot sind. Das kriegt plus 1 Moral und plus 3 Moral. Okay, aber wir haben von beiden noch 1 jeweils. Wir haben noch... Ah, okay, das sind einfach Charges möglicherweise. Die kriegt man nicht auf einmal. So... 0,9 mal 3 sind 2,7. Das heißt, es ist billiger, wenn man sowas nimmt. St. Batiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. Nein, weiß ich nicht. St. Batiste Pharmaceuticals. The one that sells meds out of St. Batiste. That one. There. <lacht> She is right. St. Batiste, the company, derives its name from St. Batiste, the city. It's self so named because that's what it is. A rare case where that really is the full etymological history. As far as almost anyone knows, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Dromine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is. I don't really know what hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Mhm. Mm um. No. Sorry. I'm not like <laughs> a doctor or anything. <laughs> Super. Okay, now it's coming nicht, weil wir haben. Okay, okay what is that? A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. <laughs> Sehr gut. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain, the great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. <lacht> okay. Um, sure. If you want something, I can get it for you. Just let me know and pay and stuff. But I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. But I guess you already know that. <lacht> okay. Uh... Wir verlieren eine Moral, also einen, einen so einen blauen Punkt und wir kriegen plus eins auf Physik und zwar auf alle Physik-Sachen, nehme ich mal an. Und das gibt auch, ja. Und das gibt minus eins auf Herz und plus eins auf Intellekt. Okay. Ja, ich glaube, wir sollten Bier und Zigaretten kaufen. Here you go, Mister. Here you go, Mister. Hm. 
Um, <laughs> the pale aged vodka is special, I guess. It's stored in pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. What is you know. pale? <laughs> okay, what will be will consuming this stuff? I mean, my body. I already said it'd hurt you. I don't know what else they do. Wonderful. Das ist so ziemlich die gelangweiligste Verkäuferin, die ich je gesehen habe. Ah, die gehören zu den Tools. Uh, these grad-made cigarettes are remarkable for their high tar content. <laughs> A favorite of fishermen, police officers, and working men in the world. Ah, and things is gerade abgestürzt. Und das wird da. Is there a bottle of beer that tastes like piss? Not that you would know how piss tastes like. Just a guess. <laughs> Evil says it's made of in Revachol by Lafayette Put. Okay. Um, schauen wir mal. Ich glaube, ich muss da ähm, Dings machen auf Twitch, um zu sehen, ob ich noch da bin. Ob ich noch da bin und online und stuff. Yep, bin ich noch. Finde ich gut. Okay, na gut. Uh, jetzt werden wir das noch nicht verbeunden, aber vielleicht in der Zukunft. So, habe ich alles gesehen hier? Ich glaube, vielleicht den Regenmantel noch. Na naja, gut, aber ich sollte 200 äh, Geld auftreiben. Keine Ahnung, wie ich das machen soll. Equip plastic bag, collect bottles and sell them at Fritz. Okay, ja. Er sagt mir jetzt auch, dass ich das tun soll. Aber ich habe keine Ahnung, ich habe noch keine Plastic Bag gesehen. Oh, da ist ein Mistkübel. Hey, Magnesium. Viel günstiger als wenn wir es gekauft hätten. Okay, da ist ein Typ, mit dem ich reden kann. Da ist ein Typ, mit dem ich reden kann. Da ist eine Tür, die ich öffnen könnte. Da ist was Grünes. Das schauen wir uns mal fast an. It says Grihe. Okay. The Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor. Okay. Da oben ist auch noch ein Typ. Ja, dann wollen wir zuerst mit dem Typen reden. Was ist das? The lorries probably stored fuel here. Now they store booze. Uh, Geld. Uh, ein Kind. Yay. Was ist da? A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad made machine is well kept for such an old machine. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. Okay. The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor, strength, and oh. purity. Oh, various panels. Fetten Nazi. <laughs> The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep, large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. Suns and wheels? Ah, swastikas. A book with ragged edges catches your notice. The front cover features a large muscular man. The title reads, Man from Eelmdal in the Lost City of the Pygmies. Okay. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. Okay. 
think this lorry belongs to a tough guy. Likely, yes. This guy is proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. Okay. What was this? An auto. Foreign car kept in good condition. Haben wir hier schon? Ich glaube. Was ist das? Oh, Horseback Monument. Nein, da waren wir noch nicht. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing towards the sea. It looks as if it's re reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air, with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Got into the sun, does. A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I'm Philippe the Third, the Squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Ravachal, son of Philippe the Second, the opulent father of Philippe the Fourth, the insane. Okay. We have heard Kratos' story from Rene. Ah. Okay, ja, versuchen wir das doch gerade. Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. Profligacy? What is profligacy? In what way? Well, he blew through the whole national treasury, <laughs> starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachol. Okay. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution and <laughs> to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. <laughs> okay. Also was hier steht ist quasi Bullshit. Er war nicht großartig, sondern er war ein Vollkoffer. <laughs> Who threw the entire national treasury? That he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth Krugerrands, bars of gold ornate weaponry armor and various chalices okay there were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold dipped feathers like some obese dragon instead of a bed like a normal person the man certainly knew how to live <laughs> Oh nein, mein Necktie spricht wieder zu mir. Would like to sleep on gold style. Wait, really? But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. <laughs> And a cocaine addiction? wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Okay. Cocaine. His Majesty's courtiers said it helped him connect with the higher realms. <laughs> That's what the revolutionaries said. 150 years later, <laughs> right before they emptied out the royal mausoleum and dumped his majesty's mortal remains in the Insulindian Bay. Ah, interessant. Okay, where is he buried now? Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution when Martinez was leveled. Okay, Klingt Most nicht gut. historians think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. If the communards had more time, they would have reduced it up to even finer pieces. <laughs> Restore the monument. Ago, a group of liberals artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic 
to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Rivershaw in the poorest part of the city. <laughs> the statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time, a rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. So funny and nihilistic. That's such a bad idea. People in Martinez tend to agree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders, with more nuanced social awareness than the young ironists. Philip III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Mm. Not that he ever did in life either. Okay. Jetzt wissen wir das auch. Ah, jetzt sind wir mal rund um Atom. Da ist der Typ, mit dem wir schon gesprochen haben. Paul Slogan, Humanox, Covered the Truck. Irgendwas hier? Kiste. Ein Tanktop. One physical instrument work it. Tank top. Gym vest. Reeking of sweat. Sleeveless shirt is the best choice if you are not afraid to show off your masculinity on the body and the hairy jet. Ah. Und es schaut auch so aus wie als hätte es um, uh, na, wie heißt er? Winnie's getragen. Was kann denn das? Ein Conceptualization, aber minus eins auf Suggestion. So. In gewisser Weise ist das besser, weil es mir nur ein Plus bringt und kein Minus. Aber Conceptualization ist recht gut. Also lassen wir das mal an. Was ist da? Uh, Geld. Alte Frau. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands and there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. Okay. It's the warmth. Of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter. Some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... Grandma. Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is grey like lead. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Why? I just told you why. Okay. Also wieder zurück zum Hafen, weil ich glaube, hier gibt's nichts mehr zu sehen. Oh, mal doppelt. Reden wir sogar. So, sprechen wir mal mit dem fetten Mann hier. Bastards! We have a right to work! The man yells towards the harbor gates. His voice is the loudest of the lot and oddly screechy for a man his size. Hold up and stay frosty, everyone! Cops are here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. 
Uh, hold up and stay for everyone. Cops are here. Approach shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's full, full hatter. You're here to fuck with us. Beat the honest worker down. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Okay. Kind of a cause why we're talking about. Rights of people, rights of workers, to have gainful employment, to make a salary, and feed their families. His manner of speaking is wooden, the tone of voice bland and uninspired, almost as if compiling replies from a set of learned phrases. Okay. Maybe you should ask them the questions, like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Okay. Honest men and women, with rights, to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His steadily graying military haircut. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market. The rules of the economy. Because they were... Given a job to do! Okay. Uh, blum, blum, blum. What exactly is your goal here? We promised work. We'd be in there. Working if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. You're unable to breach the entrance. Would take heavy ordnance to bust it open. Could try to get in through the secretary's office. Doors locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. Okay. I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Head measurer? The 70s guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind him. Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Like civilized folk, you mean? These native fucks don't understand hmm. civilized. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. Okay. When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act <laughs> together, decide to block honest work for other people. Okay. Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights, while we have the right to work! There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. 
Okay. Vielleicht gar kein, kein typischer Streikbrecher, sondern von der Firma eingeschleust. No fitting, what does that mean? The shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. He ignores your question, choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously not his. Science okay. This is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. Okay. What's it to you? Curiosity, going to figure out this the strike mess. Uh, was nehmen wir? Kein Mensch online, der zuschaut. Schade eigentlich. Jetzt könnte ich nachfragen, was ich nehmen soll. Hm. Tü, 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 tü. Hmm. Curiosity or routine? Big mess caused by union greed. But I only fight for the rights of people. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling. Bouncer work. I know the drill. Sweet, I know boss. Been thrown out from several. Maybe that's why you seem you seem familiar. I don't really drink. But work has taken me to some. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell? Might have been there. I don't really remember things well. We're done here. I have a strike to break. Ooh. Level up. Yay! <laughs> okay, der spricht nicht mehr mit mir. Zumindest nicht mehr so bald. Okay, sprechen wir noch mit dem Foto oben. Scott? You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time. Okay. Is a scam. The end of one. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Hold on. Where did they all come from? Me? Somewhere in the ground, I think. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scam. Or I guess scared, maybe. But scared of what? Of who? What they are scared of. Personally, okay. I'd rather beg than scam. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. Have you tried talking to them? We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. Okay, ja, das klingt sehr nach ähm, eingebrachter, ähm, wie sagt man, eingeschleustem Streik von der Firma, nehme ich mal an. Big guy, he means the leader of the scams.
I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. <laughs> Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here, to the wild north? Come to see the strike? Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. Ja, er schaut nicht so aus, als würde er sehr viel Hard Work machen. <lacht> you want to help me solve it? Telling me who did it? Of course, Policia. It wasn't me. You can rule me out. Easier that way. <lacht> He didn't do it. It's the truth. Meinst du, Rama? Äh, ich weiß nicht. Hey, you're the man in boots. At the gate. Uno said you know about the armor. <laughs> the little boy had a good on his promise. To get me into trouble. To sick the pigs on me. Pardon the choice of words. Not mine. What happened? I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official union probe, you know. Track it down, see who took it. Did you? At first I thought, why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. Buy us a few more days under the sun, you know? Okay. So I went to this boy. He said he'll make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere and the cops in his pocket and he's the king of Jamrock. Serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped that probe right then and there, and it still got me into trouble. One bad move is all it takes. The probe into the armor? What did you learn? I learned that people don't want to talk to a drunk union man about some armor. What is? Not much. Technical stuff, mostly. That was the interesting part. What sort of? I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. I didn't get into the material science, just how it comes off. How does it come off? In parts. Four in total. The helmet was the first to go. The kid says he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. I believe him. The boots were still on the guy last I saw. Too hard to remove. So, mm -hmm. as I count. There are two parts missing, the gauntlets and the cuirass. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore, if they ever did at all. Forget about them. I did. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. Ah, uh, yeah. I agree, officer. Let's focus on the hanging, and later some junior officers can take care of the rest. Nice. From what I learned, it was a very heavy, boring set of armor. It's a minor nuisance. It's all good. He contemplates taking a wig from his mask. Okay. No problem. If you see that kid, thank him from Call Me Manana. Thank him for showing me the way. He is sincerely grateful. He is not tracking down pieces of armor right now. <laughs> Body still hanging in the tree? Hey, that's a rough pickle. Can't help you with that, sorry. I'm not really an admirer of dead bodies. Might be some else from the union. I'm <laughs> not an admirer of dead bodies. <laughs> I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage <laughs> grants itself. If it's so simple, why did the scab leader warn you of the guards blocking the way? Aye. Walk right past Measurehead and go in. 
Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. Okay. Then press the button to unlock the door. Okay. Walk past him again. Okay. And you enter the arbor through the office. Está. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation. Mm -hmm. Or you could convert to a Semini Supremacist worldview. Or, hmm, maybe it actually is completely impossible. <laughs> Has anyone ever bested him in a physical oh, yeah, confrontation? No. He's incredibly strong. Okay. Jean-Luc himself would say the philosophy has proven overly heroic for the scabs to convert to. Not enough intuition. Sure. The man whistles at John Bittin, blah 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 blah. We're short on money right now. Can you give me some sure thing, my friend? I can help you out. Oh, das ist schrecklich. Wir haben nur eine 42%ige Chance. Können wir was anziehen in der Zwischenzeit? Oder uh, Hand-Eye-Coordination, -Co was ist das gelb? Ah! Hand-Eye-Coordination, ugh. Motorics. Ugh. Yeah, I have a source. The coin narrowly slips by your outstretched Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to throw it like that. It's a thing we harbor folk do, passing around cargo and such. It was not meant as provocation or ridicule. Lieutenant Kitsuragi picks up the coin and hands it to you. Right, always glad to help out the RCM. We're on the same branch, you and I. Humans, I mean, not slithering scabs. <laughs> You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. Okay. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. Okay, aber um mit dem Boss zu sprechen, müssen wir da mal durch. Und so, soweit ich das verstanden habe, hier müssen wir durch. Notice in case of a strike, press button behind guard. Okay. Automatically sealed door, locked by electronic means. There's no lock picking or dawn kicking this one. Okay, wir haben schon gesagt, wir werden keine Nazis, das heißt, wir werden doch dafür nicht werden. Okay, okay. A ripple of muscle passes underneath his skin. He lets you look. It must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinnacle. Because er hat einen deutschen Akzent. <laughs> you are not in danger. Because you are not a threat to me. <laughs> oh 
God. Is this a German accent or is it a French accent? I think it's a German accent. Ah, ich spreche auf Englisch schon wieder. Ah, mein Dings. Mein, mein, mein Stream uh, bricht die ganze Zeit ab. Ich schaffe es irgendwie nicht, drinnen zu bleiben. Ich hoffe, ich sehe jetzt, wenn es soweit ist. Puff out your chest. Still say nothing. What do you mean, my body betrays my channel? Blah blah blah. Still say nothing. What is this androgynous display of sexual maturity? He looks down at you, taking stock of your physique. Merely standing up makes you sweat profusely. Your breathing is erratic. <laughs> your own heart beating <laughs> <fingers> grows frantic, <laughs> and you feel your blood pressure. Oh Gott. <lacht> oh, wir sind so. You are embarrassing yourself in front of this woman and your pedomorphic friend. Pedomorphic friend. This display of weakness may appeal to older women with a stronger maternal instinct, but it is a liability here on Battlefield Martinez. Jean, look, his body is betraying his degeneracy pretty hard. Maybe you can ask him to leave. That is precisely the negligence that has led you to succumb to all rule. Ah, alcohol. His face contorts in disgust. As if he was manning a dead rat. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. <laughs> You're right, I'm an alcoholic, and I need that dead body no longer be in the tree. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplog Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich race is waning. No, now he has a French accent. Yet so then, ah, God. So him the ham still got it. Does this remind you of someone? The guy down there? Begging for help, attempting to pass fear for cooperation. How far the Occidental Aplo Group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. <laughs> race theory. Ich finde das super, welche Sachen hier zusammenhängt. Eugenik, Eugenik unter all den Teilen als erstes. Ist du Ehre. You dominated lesser cultures, like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. You will be superseded. Isn't that right? It is, baby. Yeah, you know it. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens a door to the harbor. This man is not budging. Let's hope his superiors inside are more cooperative. Nein, wir werden ihn nicht pushen. Ich habe keine Lust zu sterben.
Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world war. Bring the okay. troops to the Seminine Islands and to Boogie Street and we will pulverize you. <laughs> when you are gone, we will build a museum for you. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Ghul. Your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the oaths to homosexuality you call art. And your microcephalic <laughs> stories. <laughs> there may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Measurehead's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. Mm. Well, yes. Why? Don't you want to be a Seminese supremacist? Nein. So what if you're not Seminese? You can be anything. Oh. <sighs> it can be anything. Okay, you serve the Union, don't you? Aren't they? Why? No, anything about the, the smug? What are the tattoos of your support I mean? Okay, subscribe to his advanced race theory. So we are. Knock him out. No, that's not we need. Wollen wir das machen überhaupt? Don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. The race enigma runs much deeper than that. There must be some friction there. He's keeping it well hidden, however. Mr. Claire is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront polycultural capital. Something your race, naivistic communists, never did. Also, to serve is noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. Hm, gute Frage, was nehmen wir da? <lacht> ich meine, es sind Arbeiter, normalerweise sollten sie Kommunismus mögen. Uh, wobei andererseits der Typ ja ein starker Rassist ist, also, hm. Jam. Individualism. You have gotten these ideas from degenerate youth culture, have you not? You have picked them up from rock and roll songs? Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. I have gotten it from disco, actually. It's true. I'm a rock and roll star and a rebel. Youth culture does not affect my thinking. Okay. Rock and roll is morbid. Only Koikos listen to it anymore. There is no life left in it. My people abandoned it long ago. It leads only to neurogenerative herpes and heroin <laughs> overdoses. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory. Oh, muss ich mir das anhören? The South Island Race, Haplogroup A4A. We are the rightful masters of the Insulindian Archipelago. We descend from the Areopagites of ancient Pericarnassus and arrived here 4,000 years ago. 
millennia before you. We are the future. Aber wenn er schon länger da ist, wie kann das sein, dass er die Future ist, dann ist er eher die Vergangenheit? I am a descendant. The narrow streets of Ulumbuir are with me in my genetic dreams. <lacht> I see young Seminese women walk into the grey mass on Ile de Fontaine. Waiting on immaculate conception from the pay. So you did come from the islands? No. I have heard about it on the radio. <laughs> I'm from Kuron. And no, it is not just in Revachon. The city is central to the Simony strategy. Spreading through its trade networks, our culture will dominate the world. You have heard enough about our phylogenetic secrets for today. You have extinction to come to terms with. And never getting that dead body down from the tree. Kim, what if... I think this racist is better than the last. But the next racist will be the really good one. <laughs> that will be the... That will be our lucky racist. How do you know there will be a next racist? I like the previous racist better, actually. There always is. <laughs> Race is reality. <laughs> Das ist so dumm. <lacht> Nur anything about the smug. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, das hat aber sicher gleich die Ohren. Das ist racist ihm gegenüber, soweit ich das mitgekriegt habe. He does not so much as glance at the object. Stop showing me your pathetic cup. I have no interest in it. He had nothing to do with it. Racists mm -hmm. are generally not very good examples of their race. Okay. Interessant. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. Ah, okay. Yeah, um, zeigt er durch seine Stärken aus, oder wie? You sure I'm not craniometrically superior to you? You're right, that craniometric perfection. My race does not stand a chance. Say nothing. Your silence betrays your inferiority. You do not have a reply. You should enter a deep race slumber. Perhaps in 4,000 years there is need for a servile homunculus. Okay, versuchen wir es. Warum nicht? Don't be shy. Just ask for race secrets. Ich habe 80%ige Chance gehabt. Wir hätten 5 oder höher würfeln müssen. Das gibt's ja nicht. Wir würfeln einen 4er. Okay, bitte. I want to learn this race theory of yours. Game 10 versus your total 9. Ah, God. Do not be naive. I know the answer to the great race enigma. Why would I share it with a deformed infant? No, okay. We still need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. There must be another way. Yeah, thank you. 
Okay, also da haben wir jetzt keine wirklich, äh, sind wir jetzt nicht wirklich weitergekommen. Wir sollten mal schauen. Okay, wir haben, wir haben, ich meine, wir könnten natürlich einen Punkt in Conceptualization geben und es noch einmal versuchen, um dort reinzukommen. Wo ist das überhaupt? Conceptualization da. Wow. Wir sind schon auf plus 5 dort. Aber oh, wir haben noch nie einen Punkt reingegeben. Also so gesehen, vielleicht könnten wir machen. Wir haben zwei Punkte zu vergeben. Also so gesehen. Hm. Schauen wir mal. Was haben wir jetzt alles für Replace Love? Okay. Put the clothes in the trash. Ah, das haben wir noch nicht gemacht. Schauen. Okay, warte mal. Superstar Cop 5. Wir werden ein Superstar Cop. Communist 5, Fascist 0, Ultra Liberal 0, Moralist 2, Good Cop, Bad Cop 7, Honor 0, People Killed 3. Ace ist so 216. Okay. Mm, find a way into the secret passage. Okay, ist mir wurscht. Okay. Track down your gun. Track down your badge. Mhm. Mm oh, lie to you, return. Ja, okay, wir sollten sowieso noch mal mit ihm reden. At the reality, low down, bla bla bla, bla 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 bla. Facets on tape. Keep searching for the caller, despite lacking any obvious leads. It might take some time, okay. Ah, wir sind da gerade noch am Arbeiten. Masovian Socioeconomics. Okay. Gehen wir mal rein und sprechen wir mal mit Guard. Wegen der Kleidung im Müll. Hm. Hm. Es sind jetzt mehr Leute da, aber mit denen können wir nicht reden. Art. I help you? Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Thank you, anyway. I 
think fugue states are more your forte, officer. <laughs> yes. Das heißt, wir sprechen nochmal mit Who else? Also, Forest Access to Warden Trash. Wir sprechen nochmal mit Kuno. Vielleicht weiß der was. Und mittlerweile spricht er ja auch mit uns eher. Wir haben ihn ja irgendwie. Ooh. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary eyed with joy. <laughs> it's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Two hours pretty long. It's ring o'clock. Not now. Oh, excuse me. Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet syrupy rum and lemon? <laughs> with a twist of lemon? Maybe lime. Uh... Maybe cares. Just rum. Yeah, man. Yeah. Your mesolimbic reward pathway is going wild at the thought. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Your receptors chant. <laughs> What happened, man? You used to be cool. Go get your boring normal person drink then. Get your drink on and your act together. Find food and drink it. Okay, we have some booze. Also, gibt es noch einen Typen, mit dem wir reden können? Ich glaube, der war noch nicht da. Okay. The worker, isn't it? Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from. Into the primordial darkness. There is only oh. one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the building from the earth. Why the yelling man? He slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look. Looks like a sow descendant. A lot of sow dock workers around. I need you to answer some questions right now. Wait, what? No, he was just sleeping. What do you want, officer? Officer, even after a rude awakening, this dock worker respects the police more than they usually do, at least. Okay, sind ich gut? Is there anything interesting in your dream? Tell me about wild pines. Why are you sleeping here while the others are on strike? Oh, striking? They got it. Majorette's got it. He's guarding the gate. I'm just getting some sleep. I was. <laughs> we are. The workers. The union. We know what we need. What's right for us. Okay. I guess there's also Everard. He's in charge of the union. He's smart. Knows how to negotiate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, He's got mm -hmm. our back. Yeah, what about it? You know. People die here every day. <laughs> Someone's found in a ditch, another one falls in a mano, a third one gets eaten by stray dogs. Okay. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? Mm, ja, hat er nicht ganz unrecht. I can tell you this. Trouble's ahead. <laughs> what trouble? You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I know. And I prefer to keep it this way. 
The lieutenant gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue note. So Union people think he was a killer, he thinks. Even Sleepy Hair. This doesn't help a lot, but it's something. Good work, detective. That's the name of my employer. I work in logistics. Mm -hmm. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. <sighs> How's that going? How's it going? <sighs> then stares at the cafeteria's terrace doors, hunting a prince glisten on the glass. Haven't you noticed what's going on outside? <gasps> Good. <sighs> you understand the gist of it. We would all be better off without the employers and their employment. For one, I can get some goddamn shit I right to sleep, I say. <laughs> Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait. No. Oh, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. Okay, fine, we're not gonna send it one on. No. What was it a fathomless darkness into which we ought to be deferred? Was it pure nothing, your consciousness no larger than a single grain of mold? Tell me, was it a bliss free of X somethings? Free of X somethings? Alright, let's talk about something else. The worker stares at you, his eyes <laughs> dry from sleep. A web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> point, sir. But when I'm out, then I'm really out. No corpses. No mausoleums. Just, <laughs> just quality, quality time. time. <laughs> time. A little me time in the abyssal pelagic zone. <laughs> you can never return to it now. Only detective work remains. Wakefulness and detection. Okay. The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is already back down on the table in sweet sleep. Okay, that's had us not really helped. Okay, then let's go back to Kuno. Zu dem wollten wir sowieso noch mal. Es ist schon halb acht. Nicht gut. Können wir das jetzt schaffen? Nein, es ist locked. Ja, 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 ja. Kuno, mein Freund. The Hedman's clothes are in the trash container. How did they get there? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. Listen, listen. Kuno doesn't care about this small time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuro's wearing? Your size, good price. 500 real. Wait, I asked you what happened to his clothes. You must have seen them lying around. Alright, entertain me. What's so great about those these pants? Pig, 
is a foul modulars, liquid bit performance crotch, urban survival shit, made in me over by scientists, pants scientists. Believe it, <laughs> you need this shit. He unzips his jacket to give you a quick peek at the plantograph. Brand new. These could drastically improve your chances of survival in the urban wilderness. Könnten Sie das? Coach Physical Instrument endorses these pants. They are tartan ready. Okay. They also make you into an idiot. Kuno ain't seen shit lying around, except for that f***ed up there. Now you want performance gear or not, Grandpa? The lieutenant remains silent, but his expression couldn't say, I told you so, any louder. <laughs> Shit's rolling. Don't do business with the pig, Kuno. He's gonna steal all your money, Kuno. As you can see, Kuno and C don't trust yet. Can't do business without trust. <laughs> There's more to his distrust than being a pig. He feels threatened by something obscure in you. What that is, however, remains a puzzle for now. A mug in the trash. Is this about the fucking clothes again? Okay, was nehmen wir da? Yes, does this point pattern not taken out of its historical context mark have anything to do with it? Actually, talking about this makes me uncomfortable. Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain. You saying you pigs are after the mug fucker because he's the clothes fucker? I can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder, Kuno. That's what I'm saying, Kuno. Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there, and if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can. Okay. Tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together here. Okay. Stop turning into a pig, Kuno. They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching. Get away from my Kuno. Yeah, get your bacon shit away. Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo. Get your shit done and out of Kuno's face. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Oh, she cost me 15. Is all locked. Wieso kann ich das noch nicht kaufen? Ah, ich hab das Geld nicht. Where's the rest of the armor? He told me you promised to stick the pigs on him. Uh, fuck, okay. Kuno's a giver like that, yes? <laughs> Look, pig, Kuno sent you to rough some people up. Kuno played you. That happened. Now you and Kuno should move on. What is this? Trying to be cool with your new iPhone? Kuno was just being nice to you. You got fucked bad. Now limp the fuck out of here. After this shit, you better have something real interesting to say if you want to stay in Kuno's face. Yeah, 
real interesting. Okay. Arm auf. Kuno doesn't fucking... Das führt zu nichts. Oh, es ist bald Abend. Nein. Was? Oh, okay. Okay. Was hier? Oh, aber dann mal vielleicht, wenn wir ähm, Ding rüsten. Nope, geht auch nicht. Na gut. Oh, was haben wir hier? An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Okay, wo läuten wir Main Hall Building ab? Wieso nicht? Die Melody starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then a woman picks up the receiver. Kuno, please stop calling here. Grown-ups don't have time for your stupid games. <lacht> She thinks you're the gremlin child. What would he say to this? Sorry, I was just trying random doorbells. Okay. Single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. Okay, aber das war nicht der Book. Hey, the book bookstore. So das war Main Hall. Was wenn man Slipstream SC drücken? From the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver, but isn't saying anything. Yeah, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Okay. She sounds almost antique, as if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Oh my God. <laughs> the lieutenant exchanges a look with you. It's you. Oh my God. I didn't think I would hear your voice. Okay. That you don't remember her. Just go along with it. No. Something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Who are you? Where are you? Kum kum. <laughs> Michelle, just please. Okay. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Of course I care. It's just that I've been going through some tough time. Ever since I came to live here, it's been different. As if my mind has been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. Okay. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally speak again. She sounds like she's about to cry. No, please don't cry. Okay. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. 12 main cards on the call box read. 
Volition. Ich habe noch nie Volition gebraucht. Hm. <lacht> Emma's Fashion Atelier. Sollen wir die alle durchklicken? Ah, das ist Rolling in Rex. Nothing happens after you ring the doorbell. They don't want to talk to you. Okay. Das kann ich nachvollziehen. Ich will auch nicht mit mir reden. Okay. Nein, wir werden da jetzt nicht weiter reden. Oh, das sind Flaschen. Vielleicht finden wir hier irgendwo einen Sackel. Schauen wir uns mal um und schauen wir, ob wir einen Sackel finden, um all die Flaschen zu heben. Wir brauchen Geld. As a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked demon is covered. Ah, uh, yeah. Stands a very muscular man, surrounded by flames. Okay. This is a book about grief. This book, you don't really understand what it's about. Nor does it seem important. Okay. Culture. It promotes freedom and roaming upstream. Okay. Book about the future. The government reads your mind using radio technology. Okay. Mehr Flotten. The ad reads broken window tips his head. Okay. Was ist das? This coin operates. Ah. Is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubble gum, rendering okay. the machine permanently inaccessible. Poor little fewer. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onug written on the other side, with N and C scribbled backwards. Kuno. <laughs> That's Kuno on the lens. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky weather-worn wooden planks, okay. an X-shaped cross topping its tower. You know this to be the star of Perikonesis or the Cairo. The central symbol of the Perikonesian church, a star, a great moral height to be strived towards. Okay. The church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Okay. Around the large wooden building you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, and a small tent set up on the ice. No. Uh... If you had a bag in your hand, perhaps you could collect those these bottles and sell them. Okay. Noch so ein Ding zum Anschauen. This coin operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centims and pull the handle while looking inside. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? There was a revitalization project in 49. A design studio tried restoring Martinez to mm -hmm. its more glory. It didn't stick. Okay. They got as far as the street lamps and the statue on that intersection. Then something went sour. I suspect that something was Eva Claire, the union leader. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. Okay. Can't we do something about it? We should have done something about the Union ten years ago. That ship has sailed, officer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mazovian socio-economics. Oh. Nord point nord 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 percent of communism has been built. Evil child-murdering billionaires still rule the world. With a shit-eating grin, <laughs> all he has managed to do is make himself sad. He has started to suspect Krasmezov fucked him over, personally, with his socio-economic theory. 
His talent, <laughs> however, made him into a very smart boy with something like a university degree in truth. Instead of building communism, he now builds a precise model of this grotesque, duplicitous world. Okay, warte mal. Wir kriegen mehr XP, wenn wir Left Wing Dialogue Options nehmen. Aber wir kriegen minus 1 auf Visual Calculus und minus 1 auf Authority, Downtrodden, Inver Communist. Echt jetzt? Kann ich das auch nicht accepten? Kann ich das abdrehen? Kann das abdrehen? Aber oh, wir können es vergessen. Das kostet uns einen Punkt, wenn wir das vergessen. Oh Gott. Ach, wir halten es mal. Es bringt uns XP. Okay. Roundabout North. Martinez Pier. Enormous bowls worthy of a real man. What's this? Lonely Cormorant surveys the sea indifferent to your approach. Any of this boat shines like it was recently painted. Fuck it, man. It's done. Oh! Tsukuno S. Okay, nein, da wollen wir jetzt noch nicht rein. Schauen wir uns noch auf der Straße um. Irgendwo muss es da ja noch einen. Also, warte mal. So, wir da. Sehen. Okay, das sind nur no, Schilder. Okay, Cape Side Apartments. Inside the frame of a motorcycle and repair and the tools used to disassemble itself. There's a girl up there. Did she spill the paint? Finde ich nicht. Wieso gibt's einen Autosave hier? Looks like there was more construction here one decade ago. Oh, there's a bit too. Hmm. That's not bad from Anchon. More magnesium, find ich gut. Talking reserved for residents of Rue de... Was auch immer. Da ist eine Person. Your room in the wording isn't much bigger than this loop. <laughs> this is worth more than you'll ever earn in all your life. Gut. Also ein reiches Dings hier. Gut. Äh, wir haben jetzt nichts gefunden. Aber es gibt noch ganz, ganz viele Leute zum hier reden. Oder weiter unten waren wir auch noch nicht genau überall. Und wenn wir äh, in der Nähe das Ding anfangen, also bei dem Buchladen hier. Da ist auch noch ein alter Typ. Uh. Yellow plastic bag. Okay. Yellow plastic bag frit. This plastic bag has frit written on its 
on it in a dynamic, forceful manner that implies great pride. As you crack it open, a malty gust of air flies in your face. Smells of yeast and beer. A perfect tear. Okay. Wir nehmen das Zackern in die Hand. Nothing I can't. You hear the distance of oh, sea birds. What was this stuff? Geld. A mist cure. Splatter of bullet holes line the walls. Okay. Mit dem Alten reden? Hm. Gute Frage, es ist schon fast elf. Ich glaube, ich werde schlafen gehen. Und zwar ich als Person und nicht ich als äh, Super Detect. Was ist da jetzt gestanden? Ich weiß es nicht. Als Person werde ich jetzt abspeichern. Ich wünsche euch hier einen schönen Abend. Schlaft gut und träumt was Schönes. Strom F.